So to begin with, how to create a table? For this, let us see with an example. So let us see how to create a table. Okay, so for this, yes, we know that table can be created in two ways. That is using table option and using table design option. So first, let us see how to create a table using table option. Okay, so for this, go to create tab. Okay, in the create tab, you have the tables group. Click on the table option. Okay, so table one is created. So to begin with, let us start. Okay, let us write the first field as student ID. Okay, S T U D E N T student ID. Okay. So a new field is created. To add some more fields, click on, click to add. So next would be, what is the type of uh, data that we are assigning? Data type would be short text. So the field name, we can give it as student name. Student name. Next, we are going to add another field. So here, select this, click to add, click here and select the data type. Once the student name is entered, we can add student roll number. So the data type would be number and the field would be roll number. Okay, so to add another field, click on and click to add. Then set the data type, that should be date and time. Here, let us write date of birth. Date of birth. So, this field would be date of birth. Then, we want to add another field. Yes, we can add. We can add address. So, address would be your long text. So, let us select long text and add address. So, we have Student ID is the first field, student name the second field, roll number in the third field, date of birth in the fourth field, then we have address. So we have created this many fields. Now, how do we enter data into this? Okay, so for this, we have to save the table. So here on table one, just right click, click on save option. So once you click on save option, you get save as table here. Okay, so right, student. ID. So we are going to save this table as student ID. Just click OK. Your student ID table is created. So let's see how to enter the data. So now student ID. So student ID. Student name will be separate example. Ayush. Roll number one. We have given an author number for that. The date of birth, we can select any date of birth, say for example, and the time, um, 25th December 2007. Okay, the address, Mumbai. This press center, the new field created. Okay, the next name will be, say, Ria. Roll number will be who? Okay, date of birth. Okay, address. So like this, you can continue creating the, entering the data in your student ID table. So how do we save it? Just click on the save option. Right click, save. The table details are saved. So this is the first method of creating a table. That is, in the creator, we have create option. In the creator, we have tables option and we have selected table. Okay, so this is the first method. So next method is creating a table using table design option, which is a more convenient method. 
So we will learn about it. Uh, creating a table using table design option. Okay. So children, let us see how to begin, how to create a table using table design option. Okay, for this, let us click on create tab. In the create tab, in the tables group, we are going to select table design option. So once you click on table design, a new table is already created. Okay, so now here we are going to start entering the fields that we need okay the first option first thing we're going to select uh, type is with uh, student id student id and what is the data type the data type we are going to select this number okay then next comes student name student name will be a short text then date of birth so let it be date and time let us select date and time okay so next we'll select address let the address be a long text then let us select marks percentage Let this be number. Okay. Then finally, roll number. Let us select this as auto number. That means the numbers will generate automatically. Okay. So now all the fields are ready. Now we need to save it. How do we do this? Right click, save, click on save option. Here you can write student. ID. We have named the table as student ID. Name as student ID. Let's create. Click on. Now there is a message which has popped out which says there is no primary key defined. What do you mean by this? We already have one table. So when we created that table, there was no, uh, uh, the computer did not ask for any primary key. Now the computer is asking for the primary key to be defined so that means when the second table is created the computer will definitely ask for a primary key because we need to create a we can create a relationship between the first table and the second table using the primary key okay so this is what i had explained about rdbms that is relationship in database management okay so i'll just click on yes the primary key is automatically defined. So the computer will automatically define the primary key. What is primary key? What are its functions? How to create it? All this I will teach you in the upcoming classes. Okay, children. So now, how do we enter data in the data sheet? Okay, we have the second table that is student ID 2 which has been created. How do we enter data in this? This is the Okay, so now let us click here. So we have, select, we have uh, set the name for this. So coming to the navigation pane, here, select open. So student ID, the, uh, the data type we have selected is number. So we are going to give number here. Then, <clears throat> the student name is going to be a text. Okay, date of birth will be in the form of date of birth. So here we can see this calendar option. Click here, select the date of birth here. Okay, so it can be see some date I will select July 2018, 3rd July 2018. Address, let it be Bangalore. Okay, marks percentage, let it be uh, 
and row number is generated automatically because we had given that auto number we had selected the option of row auto number then coming to the second entry so this is called as the second record so we are going to write the uh, number as 2 student id number let the name of student be aryan date of birth we can use we can select the we can either input the date of birth using the uh, keyboard or you can select the calendar option here so address hyderabad marks percentage roll number is generated automatically as so now once your data once your, all the records are entered we are going to select save right click save so now we have two tables that a student id was the first one which we created using just the table option that is we created the table and second uh, table we created that is student id 2 which we created using table design option so this is how we are going to create tables in the ms access we can create any number of tables in ms access in the same file now let us see how to save the file for this just click on the file option here file menu select save button and your file is saved now how do we open the file that is already saved how to open an existing file so okay so how do we open the file back again? Say, some, uh, say in the next day you have come back, you have to complete entering the data. So how do we do that? Just go to MS Access application in the computer. So once you click on MS Access application, so here in the recent, you have grade seven, lesson three. So select this and your file is ready so this is how you open the ms app access application that you have that and this is how so this is how you open the file that you had previously saved so both the tables are available so table one and table two so here this is how you can work with tables now let's quickly see what are all the essential terms that we have learned in this lesson now quickly let's see what are all the essential terms that we have learned in lesson yes a database is a collection of information of similar records then database management system is a collection of interrelated data Microsoft Access database consists of several components like tables, queries, and reports. These components are called database objects. Then, quickly, what are all the points to remember? Yes, the primary goal of a DBMS is to provide a convenient and efficient way to store and retrieve database information. A DBMS improves data quality. MS Access provides automated methods to create, store, and retrieve large amount of data. Our DBMS is an extended form of DBMS that manages the relationship among the tables and reduces redundancy and inconsistency of data. Okay, tables are database objects that store data in a form of columns and rows. Columns are called fields and rows are called records. Query is used to retrieve information from one table or a set of tables on a condition. A report is used to effective, is an effective way of analyzing and presenting the data in a specific layer. Form is a program that picks the data of a table and displays it on the screen. So this is all about MS Access, creating, a, creating tables, 